Is that the Uterfract? Oh, what the fuck? It's like some kind of baboon. Is it a baboon? Oh my god, it's a monkey with a green head. <laughs> Look at its laser vision. Look, it's chowing down on a leg or something. Look at it. Look at its, like, laser eyes. It looks like fucking Sam Fisher. The Udafrike is fucking Sam Fisher, man. Look at him. <laughs> the Udafrike, they can't even see me. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Poor Udafrike. Look at this. It is a baboon. It's like a gorilla or something. Fucking Gorilla Grodd. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's its tail. <laughs> When we had last left the Nerevarim, they were traveling around Solstheim looking for fun to get into, and it took them to none other than the famous Thursk Mead Hall, just south of the Skull Village, a little separatist group of the Skull from long, long ago who had gone on to form a happier relationship with them on their own terms and on their own way of life as well. However, it had seemed as if Thursk Mead Hall was in no wonderful state at the time being. No, in fact, it had just recently been attacked by, well, not werewolves this time, but the Uderfricht, the Uderfrichte, the no legendary ancient creature that had been That's sealed long, long ago beneath the earth and it had reawoken and struck terror in the hearts of men and women and slain all sorts of folks, leaving hardly anyone alive at the Thursk Mead Hall. Honestly, it was, it was pretty bad. But even worse, at the Thursk Mead Hall was Marissa. Yes, she was locked inside of a, I don't know, some sort of bedroom there. Who, and she was being tormented and tortured by one of the Thursk Mead Hall meterlings. And holy shit, thankfully, they all got killed, I guess. You know, that's karma. Fuck it. And so the Neverine escorted her back to the Legion Fort, and then also found this lady inside of an ice cave who wanted to avenge her dead husband or something like that. This is the Elder Scrolls Three, Morrowind, Blood Moon! It's Morrowind Mondays. Let's get on out of here. Well met. Let's see, I think we continue on with our big main Ufradik day situation, right? And then, ooh, jeez. And then we go off and mess with her shit, right? That makes sense. All right, let's see. What is our next line of action for the Ufradik day? Or the Udir... Uderfrikt? Uderfrikti? Uderfrikt? I'm going with that. <laughs> All right, Uderfrikt. Right. The entrance is on the eastern shore of Lake Fjelding. Okay. Let's go fucking kill an Uderfrikt, right? Or the Uderfrikt. Up and over there. Good. Only reason we were down there is because of the escort mission, right? Which, you know, hey, took some precedence. Needed to get her the fuck out of there. Right. There we go. Good. Like I was saying, though, maybe the Uderfrikt is some sort of, like, I don't know, ancient karmic curse or whatever. Look, has my, has my left armband thing like popped right the fuck off or what? What's going on here? Where's my arm bracelet or whatever? Jeez, it's not even there anymore, is it? Do I even see it? Huh. Yeah, jeez, I must have accidentally like dropped it somewhere. <laughs> oh no, here it is. Here it is. There we are. Good. Right? Yeah. Whew. Crisis averted. Okay. Let's get on back over here. Jeez, it's very hard to see what direction we're even pointing. Go on up. All of this. Snowy cliffs and mountains and all that good stuff. Over here to Lake Fjolding and the Uderfrights. Little domain. Right? There we go. Wasn't there, um, wasn't Old Corst One-Eye Wind-Eye? Wasn't he also potentially ruminating on the idea that maybe this was tied to the Uterfrikt? I'm not sure. Let's see. 
Can we go back to that? Does does that have any like logs on what wind I thought it maybe was? I can't remember. Hmm. Lasner. Yeah, there, wind eye. That's about the shit at the castle. Okay. Krish, yeah. So it should be right before here. Inside the caverns. Okay. Enormous castle, right. Okay. Windai was pleased that the restog was successful. He has taught me more of the skull magic in return for my efforts. I'm now able to call a bear. Ominous signs. Shores are filled with horkers. Hmm. Attacked by werewolves. When was this? When did we first come out and see the lake on fire? Let's see. Yeah, Lake Fjolding. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything about it, does it? Totem of Claw and Fang. Yeah. Huh, maybe not. I don't know. Hey, maybe those... For all we know, you know what? <laughs> maybe they didn't ever get along so, so peaceably, after all, right? You know, we read in that book, the booklet written by What's-His-Butt, that the... Thirsk folks and the folks living up at in Skull Village and all that that they were getting along very well Maybe that maybe that's just bullshit. Maybe the skull fucking hate them and they're the ones who sent set the Uterfrite upon them, right? They just wanted to get them the hell out of there. Good lord. Nightmarish. Okay. Here it is, huh? Let's see. Oh god. Oh god. Oh dear lord. Uh-oh. Right. Someone wrote in about this. Good lord. I totally forgot who even wrote in about this. Because I was so con- I w Was I so confident that I thought I wouldn't run into the issue? Or was I just so stupid that I forgot that I might run into the issue? One of the two things happened. But I'm pretty sure I do remember the solution. We have to toggle clipping. There we go. And we should be able to- There we go. Yeah, Lair of the Uterfrykt. Okay, yeah, for whatever reason, it's bug. Apologies to whoever wrote that in. Jeez, I did not even think... We can just leave the sentence there. <laughs> we can just leave it there. All right. Let's see. Let's also repair up real quick. There we are. Good. Okay. The concept of the Uterfrykt is honestly fucking terrifying, right? That there's this ancient evil that's been underneath the lake? Oh god, is that it? Is that the Uterfract? Oh, what the fuck? It's like some kind of baboon. Is it a baboon? Oh my god, it's a monkey with a green head! <laughs> Look at its laser vision! Look, it's chowing down on a leg or something! Look at it! Look at its, like, laser eyes! It looks like fucking Sam Fisher! The Uterfrykt is fucking Sam Fisher, man! Look at him! <laughs> the Uterfrykt, they can't even see me! Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Poor Uterfrykt. Look at this. It is a baboon! It's like a gorilla or something. Fucking Gorilla Grod. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's its tail! <laughs> I thought the fucking Uterfrykt was packing some heat. No, that's its little tail. Okay. Do you think maybe this is... What if the Uterfrykt is like some sort of progenitor to man? Or what if it's one of the... In, in the Elder Scrolls lore, weren't there like gorilla people at some point? Right? You know, like, like in the sense of there being Khajiit people, cat people, uh, lizard people, right? There's, like, big slowed snail people or whatever, snake people, all that shit. Weren't there, like, gorilla people or something at some point? Is this, like, a holdover from that? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. How bizarre. Well, let's take its trophy or whatever, right? Severed Nord leg. Fuck off. It's a weapon? It's a fucking weapon, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! How did I never-
never know about this. Oh, good lord, the condition is only 30. Holy hell, that's horrific. <laughs> it's, it's practically useless. Huh. Okay, well. Heart of the Uterfrakt. Weighs five units. All right. Let's see, let's take a look at it here. Why would we take the heart as a trophy, though? That's a little gnarly, huh? Restore Magicka, Fortify Endurance, Drain Agility, Night Eye. Is that identical to a Daedric Heart? It might be. Except it's heavier. Is this thing a Daedra? Is there like a creepy baboon Daedra? Oh, what the fuck? Alright. Let's pick into this. Huh. You know what? I don't... I don't know much about, like, Norse mythology, Viking lore and shit, but, you know, the the Nords and stuff, they take a heavy inspiration from all that, right? Did the... Did Vikings and Norse mythology shit, did they ever, like, face off against, like, baboons or some shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Does the Uterfrakt have some sort of analogy, or is it analogous to something in, in mythology or whatever? I don't know. I have no clue. I'm gonna drink their mead, though. Here we are. re equip Sunder. Okay, anything up in here? Just a whole bunch of, like, dead-ass people. All slain by the Uterfrakt. Their heads here. How does it stay alive after all this time? Look! Look at all these heads from people it's, like, killed and eaten. Because it's been here years and years, you'd think there would be even more skeletons, right? you think there would be, like, loads and loads. But, I don't know. Maybe it just ate the bones for the marrow and, and all that, right? Alright, the Uterfrakt. There you have it. I forget, does it show up in the future or something somehow? I don't know. The Uterfrakt reborn. Good god. Alright, let's head on back out. There we go. Yep, we'll never enter again. This is, um, this is the same thing that happened to the Uterfract, right? Couldn't get out without the, uh, the no-clip. <laughs> that, that was it. Good lord. That was the, they said that they put, like, an ancient skull, wild magic, or whatever thing over the doorway to keep it sealed within. That's it. That's it. The only way to pass is to activate console commands. <laughs> Good lord. When the Blood Moon Prophecy rang true started all the each part started to happen for realsies my god the final stage the no clip <laughs> all right let's see where's our mead hall there's thirsk who do we even need to bring this back to i've slain the uterfrakt i should claim a part of the beast as a battle trophy and bring it to svenya snowsong at thirsk did they have did my journal have anything else to say about the uterfrakt like, any additional lore tidbits? Maybe. The Mead Hall of Thirsk has been attacked by a monster called the Uterfrakt. The creature struck without warning and killed everyone he could. Svenja Snowsong was finally able to drive the beast away with her arrows. But she fears the Uterfrakt will return. Right, and it still had the arrows in. And it's back. Svenja Snowsong asked me to slay the Uterfrakt, and I agreed. I can probably find the beast in his lair. The entrance is on the eastern shore of Lake Fjalding, just to the west of Thirsk. If I can slay the Uterfrak, yada yada. Yeah. Huh. How weird. Right? I don't know. Maybe it's just a a facet of this, like, specific island of Solstheim? Do you think Solstheim was originally attached to, like, another area? I don't know. And then, you know, some continental drift or whatever occurred? Right? Like, were Uterfrakes commonplace in what would be north of of Solstheim? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how any of the other continents are set up, honestly. Atmora? The sunken ruins of Atmora or whatever? Is that what's up there? I don't know. Oh, shit. Look at this! Svenja! Oh, I got quest givers in there! It's all boarded up! Thirsk is closed without a chieftain. These are sad times. Guess what, Svenja? I'm about ready to be the fucking chieftain. Hail to the chief. 
I'm sorry, scoundrel, but none may enter the mead hall while you, you hold the heart of the Uterfright. How does she know? How does she know what it looks like? Can this be? You have slain the foul beast? By the gods, you truly are a warrior worthy of song. Give the heart to me, then I will make ready the mead hall. And when the debris of battle has been cleared of the has been cleared, the heart of the Uterfright will be placed on the pedestal of Thursk. There is but one more task you must complete before being named chieftain. Oh shit. Let's click on this. Enter the Mead Hall. The Mead Hall of Thursk is closed for repairs, scoundrel. In his rage, the Uterfright did much damage. The builders I've hired are working diligently, though, and the Mead will flow again soon. Of course, Thursk still needs a new chieftain. How about the Uterfright? You have done the impossible and slain the ancient beast, scoundrel. The bards will sing of your valor for ages to come. What about this task? Oh. You must go to the mountains and find the barrow of Frothmund the Red, the first chieftain of Thursk. One may only be named chieftain of the Mead Hall if Frothmund's spirit approves. Inside the barrow is Frothmund's great axe. Lay your hands on this weapon and utter your intention to rule over Thursk. If you are found worthy, Frothmund will grant his blessing. Go now, seek Frothmund's barrow at the Eye of the Wolf. While you're away, I will see to the repairs of the Mead Hall. What if I come back and I'm not worthy, though? <laughs> I guess we can just lie. How will she know? <laughs> I'll just say, yeah, of course. Of course the axe said. Yeah, make him chieftain right away. Also, give him, like, a whole bunch of money, I guess? <laughs> Let's see. I gave the heart of the Uterfright to Svenja Snowsong. She says there is one more task I must complete before being named Chieftain of Thursk. I must journey west of the Mosering Mountains and find the hidden barrow of Frothmund, the first Chieftain of the Mead Hall. Once there, I must lay my hands on Frothmund's great axe and utter my intention to rule over Thursk and its people. If Frothmund's spirit approves, he will grant his blessing. While I'm away, Svenja will see to the repairs of the Mead Hall. Look at this. We're in control of Raven Rock and now the Thirsk Mead Hall? Holy shit, what's next? Alright. There we go. See, Dagoth Ur should have come out here to begin with and just got to start on some of these smaller areas, right? <laughs> right, just, just fulfill a few of these, like, ancient rituals and all that. They'll just give you some stuff to rule over, right? Jeez. Dagoth Ur, the real estate magnate <laughs> just just start buying up people's houses and shit man good lord there we are it worked for the empire <laughs> fuck there we are good and then <laughs> i'm just kidding they didn't buy anything <laughs> they they were conquerors <laughs> they were terrible they killed people they killed people let's get on up here and some would say they're still doing it. <laughs> Let's see. Where is... Do we actually have Frothmoons? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, because we've been there before. There we are. Up here. You know what? I gotta say, started a new seed in Valheim. You know, we're, we're just... Given the setting, I can't help but bring it up a little bit. But uh, start a new seed in Valheim. And I made the seed name, the custom seed name... On Jage, you know the password to enter Frothmoon's Barrow? Capital O, and then the rest of it all lowercase? Lowercase Jage? And holy shit! It's not a half bad seed! It's pretty good! It's a pretty good one! Good lord, streamed it some. There we go. Take care of this dude. Speaking of on Jage, damn. Alright, here we go. Head on in. And let's see. Let's go rub Frothmoon's axe. Or whatever pleases him. Look, some dudes came back in here. Okay. Can we rest again? Let's heal up. There we are. Get our magicka back. Beautiful. Okay. Let's turn on the lights here. Big ass axe. It is pretty big. It's gotta be said. Okay. Anything else here that we would want? Stall rim. We already dug it up. Skeletal dude. Alright. 
rub his axe, and make a wish. You grasp the mighty axe of Hrothmund and utter your intention to rule over Thirsk. In answer of approval, Hrothmund grants his blessing. Oh, gosh. What's his blessing? Oh, a frost shield of five points. Did I get anything else? Hmm. Yes, sanctuary five points. That's pretty good. Okay. Anything else? No. The Frost Shield, pretty god-awful, but five points of Sanctuary? That ain't half bad. That's 5% chance to not get hit. All right, let's head on out. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that intentional? That all of the Snow Blizzard here blows directly into Castle Karstag like that? Like, look at that. That looks fucking terrifying over there, huh? It, does it always blow right straight into it, or what? Hmm. Let's see. Like, if I go over here, does it shift directions to blow straight into it? I think it is. Yo, I think it totally is. Let's see. Yeah, it might be. It's hard to tell. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure anymore, because by now it should have shifted a bit, huh? And I don't think it is. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it was just a coincidence. Alright, fair enough. Let's head on over this way. There we go. I forget now. Was there anything, like, centered on Red Mountain with the ash storms, the blight storms? Good lord, it's been so long. I can't remember if we had a similar epiphany with the ash storms being, like, the blowing of them, the wind direction, to be relative to, like, the epicenter of Red Mountain, the volcano and all that. Can't remember. I feel like that would have come up, but I can't remember if we figured it out one way or the other. All right. Should we look inside this little hidey hole here? There's a bunch of wild-ass dudes over here. Let's see. What are you all up to? Oh, shit. Okay. All right, let's take care of business here real quick. There we are. Good. All right, and you. Okay, take care of you as well. Little wild that the super famous magic one-handed hammer is from Dunmer culture, right? <laughs> it's a, uh, it ain't no Mjolnir, huh? Okay. Soul Slime, Bjorn. Okay. Let's lay an egg down. Let's give it a quick look. Do a quick save just as well. Okay. Ooh. What is this place? How long do these sparkles last for me? Should I, like, go back there and speak with her before the sparkles fade? Look at this! They're living in harmony, these hags! And the Reichlings. What are they doing in here? Oh, shit! Oh, God! <laughs> what fresh hell is this? Oh my god! We're here to fucking die, I guess! Oh my gosh! Is this like some weird, like, sex party between the Reichlings and all these fry sags? Jesus! Man, we're getting fucked up here, huh? Please, no! Let's see, let's... <laughs> let's chow down on some healing potions, huh? There we go. We'll have to repair our strength and shit, aren't we? Getting hit by all these fucking big boys, huh? Good God. You're gonna kill me. All right. There we are. Nothing a few hundred thousand potions won't solve. Oh, good Lord. What the hell? Let's restore our strength, I guess. Hopefully this is enough. Good God, it's not! Okay. Let's go 24 hours then. F it. There we are. Good. One hour. And then... Great. Fixed up. I hope. Good Lord, there's more of them! Are you for real? What's going on? 
find this weird asshole. <laughs> this weird asshole. All right, let's take him out. Good lord. Them and their fucking bone walker lords. Jeez. I can't even reach them now, huh? Yeah, I can't even reach. Alright, they ran out of magicka. That works. What a weird ass place, huh? Oh, great. Now I can't rest either. There's too many enemies nearby and shit. Okay. Let's chug some Sujama. And then we can come over here and rest. Okay. Let us go for 24 hours, rest up. There we are. One hour. And then... Use that. Fix ourselves right up. Okay. We do need to use it again, though. Definitely. Okay. What have you got? Restore health? I guess I'll take it. Winter wound dagger and yeah, all this junk. Another one. Okay. What a weird place. And were all the Reiklings just the ones that were, like, on boars? Not sure. Who is this? Some dead-ass person. Restore health, I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, all the Reiklings, I think, may, may well have been... Well, I don't know now. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. But all the Frice Hags, completely identical. All dressed the same. Creepy. A blind ring. Armor's hammer. We'll use it. Fix everything up. Good. A little barrel full of nothing. Okay. Cool. Let's head on over this way. Alright, what have we got? We've definitely got a few more dudes up in here. Hmm. Look at this. What the hell's going on? How weird! What is all this shit meant to be? You will die where you stand! Man, they're very loud, but amazingly none of them can hear it. Now this is fighting. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. Are these are these dudes friendly or no? No, they are definitely not. Let's do a quick save here. Gotcha. Good. Okay, and then we'll get you as well. You will die where you stand. Good. <laughs> Man, you know, part of the Blood Moon prophecy, all the fucking horkers washing up. How about the cave full of like Reikling dudes and just a bazillion completely identical Frice hags? What prophecy is that? That seems pretty fucked up. <laughs> in here potentially having some sort of weird ass orgy I don't know it feels like something is on the precipice of happening let's see let's use one of these hammers up here there we go lovely okay still encumbered right let's re-equip Sunder okay we still got more random junk in here Yep. Okay. Weird. Will we ever get an answer to this? Bjorn. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Man, we saw this same shit in Skyrim. Look. Fucking how many years later and they're still doing this, huh? They, people just can't help themselves. If you got a fucking game with an ice cave, oh, you better look out. <laughs> Icicle, frost damage, 1 to 25. Of course. Because the frost damage would be blue, right? Okay, anything good on you? A master lockpick. Weird. Okay. Yeah, the hat seems right. Nord Mead, though. I don't remember that in the movie. Okay. Let's look around here. But why... <laughs> why this?! Why all the Reiklings and the... and the Frice Hags? <laughs> what the fuck? What does that have to do with Star Wars? I don't remember all that shit on Hoth. <laughs> it's, it's just like, oh man, we can't make like a Tauntaun situation or anything. 
Let's just, uh, fill the cave with, like, a shitload of Frice Hags and Reichlings, I guess? <laughs> what the hell? Or it wasn't even a Tauntaun, was it? It was some other weird creature, right? The Tauntaun is what Han was dealing with. Oh, good lord. What the hell? <laughs> How bizarre! And are all the, like, Reichlings and Frice Hags a reference to something else? I don't know. All right. Well, let's head on out. Good lord, is... Could you imagine? There's no, like, frost caves in... No, there is a frost cave in Oblivion, isn't there? Yes, there is at least one. It's very bizarre, but there is one in there. Hmm. I wonder if... That... Also has a, uh... A similar <laughs> Easter egg in it. <laughs> Alright, over here... It's just some weird, long-continuing tradition. Every single Elder Scrolls game needs to have a Luke Skywalker hanging upside down inside of an ice cave Easter egg. Good god. <laughs> okay. Let's head on over here. Good, good, good. Do you think now... In addition to a, a proper lore master and stuff get, to keep track of all this shit. Do you think now they're also keeping track of the Easter eggs that they put in their game so they don't ever duplicate them? Right? Do you think someone would... <laughs> well, no. I guess they don't, right? Or maybe they they got... Um, they finally realized, oh shit, we, you know what? Or does it even matter? Right? Does it even matter? Because so many of the people who played Skyrim, the percentile of people who played both Morrowind and Skyrim... It's very small relative to just the people who played Skyrim alone, right? Yeah, I don't know. Shit. Put another one. Put it in Elder Scrolls 6. Put a fucking upside down Luke Skywalker. Put it in there. Let's head on in. Oh, jeez. What am I even looking at? There we go. Good. Wow, they fixed it all up. Where did you get these people from? Alright. Burgle Yacht. Hey! All hail the new chieftain of Thirsk! <laughs> because of you, the mead hall is open again! Here's to your health! <laughs> wow, cool. They, <laughs> they're already fucking celebrating, huh? Bathmar Bold Loot. Bathmar plays his loot and sings the praises of the new chieftain of Thirsk. Oh god, is this a song? I think it is. In the cave he met the beast, and cut quite short its evil feast. And when the Uderfrag did fall, the chieftain came and claimed his hall. <laughs> it's no Ragnar the Red, is it? The danger gone and the mead did flow, and everyone at Thirst did know that Lyle would <laughs> rule Great Thirsk until the end of time. Well, okay. It got a little, <laughs> it got a little off, uh kilter there at the end. Oh, and this is the heart! Hail the chieftain of Thirsk, slayer of the Uderfrecht. May the mead flow forever. Uderfrecht. I would have never guessed. Alright. Cool. Hey. I know that Hrothmund has granted you his blessing, for I could feel it in the air. The heart of the Uderfrecht has been placed on the pedestal for all to see. You, Lyle, are the new chieftain of Thirsk. Ruling the Mead Hall is great work, and I understand you may have business elsewhere. I offer to serve as your advisor and second in command, and will oversee the Mead Hall's affairs in your absence. Now, do we have any Mead Hall business to discuss? Or maybe you'd like to relax in your quarters. Oh shit. I can do stuff here? The Uterfrecht. Alright, yeah, we heard that one before. Thirsk. Hmm. Okay, stuff we've heard. Let's see, mead? Mead is a fermented honey wine. It is a strong drink brewed by strong Nords. The mead here at Thirsk is shipped all the way from Skyrim. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you all don't brew it here and instead ship it. Do they go through Fort Frostmoth? How do they ship it? Because they don't have like a little dock area, do they? Are there just, like, longboats and shit going back and forth? <laughs> Good lord. Okay. 
How about the meat hall? Meat hall business. As chieftain of Thursk, there are certain things you may order the clan to do. As your second in command, I will make sure your orders are carried out. So what is your command, my lord? Order mead from Skyrim. Collect mead hall profits. Send out hunters to kill snow bears and snow wolves and return with their pelts. Huh. Get some more mead from Skyrim. Yes, great chieftain, I will put in the order for mead. It should arrive from Skyrim in about a week. Wow, look at that. How about my quarters? Your quarters are upstairs, Lyle. The chieftain's room is the one with the wolfskin rug in front of the door. There you can rest and have any privacy you need. Oh, and if you haven't seen it already, I've left a gift by your bed. It is a true chieftain's weapon, one I hope will serve you well. Oh. Oh, thank you. Okay. Cool. Can I sit in this? <laughs> Alright, cool. Here I am. Chilling out in my, my chair, sort of. <laughs> okay. There we go. We didn't invent sitting technology in Elder Scrolls until the future. Though I don't know. Could you sit in Daggerfall? Maybe you could. Good lord. Can't believe they dumbed down Morrowind so fucking much for these, like, casuals. They got rid of sitting. Pathetic. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls just isn't what it used to be. Ugh. Remember when we could sit in Daggerfall? Remember when we could climb? Now these babies have levitate. They don't even know about climbing. Babies. Morrowind babies. <laughs> Alright. Can I just eat this? Can I can I just eat this? What, what's everyone gonna do if I just eat this? Yum. Ooh. No one seems to mind. Should I have eaten that? Am I cursed now? Seems like a bad thing. Oh. Restore Magicka, Heart of the Uterfrykt. Oh god. Okay. Sure. How much magic am I going to get from this thing? Look, it's it's not half bad. Look at that. I'm getting a decent amount from it. How long does this last? Forever? Oh, God. Am I not the chieftain anymore because I ate the heart? <laughs> should I should I quick load? Are we going to need that for something else? I don't think we... I don't think we do. I think I'm fine to have just eaten it. Oh, is this it? Clan bringer. Long blade one handed. Cast when used. Rally humanoid 10 to 20 points. Sanctuary 1 to 5 points. On self. Personality 1 to 5. Pretty bad. Honestly, it's pretty bad. Okay, well, you know what? We'll leave it there. It looks very nice leaning up against the bed like that. House of Troubles. Okay, so this was my room. Alright. Weird. Cool. I like it. Man, I I totally did not remember that you could become chieftain or whatever of Thirsk, right? I definitely remembered the whole Mead Hall sit or the Raven Rock situation. But May the mead flow forever. It does kind of pale in comparison to how involved the founding of Raven Rock is, right? Jeez. Alright. Let's get on out of here. Let's check our log here. Anything else? Oh, I laid my hands on Frothmoon's great axe and uttered my intention to serve as Thirsk's chieftain. Frothmoon's spirit answered by granting his blessing. I should now return to the Mead Hall and talk to Svenja Snowsong so that I may be named chieftain. Svenja Snowsong has named me chieftain of Thirsk. The position is permanent and I must serve it until I die. Svenja has offered to serve as my advisor and second in command and will take care of all Mead Hall matters in my absence. Which, the Mead Hall matters involve getting mead, collecting mead money, and getting pelts from snow creatures. Good lord. Which I guess we can use to craft up on this dude. Does this dude out here have anything new to say now that I'm like... My lord, I can craft armor worthy of a chieftain. <laughs> Alright, great. All hail Lyle, the new chieftain of Thirsk. My lord, I can provide you with something fitting of your new position. 
provided with enough gold and the right materials, I can make sets of custom snow bear armor and snow wolf armor worthy of a chieftain. Huh. Okay. But before, he would have made this anyway. Right? Or was it just regular... Regular armor? Let's see, do you have anything to say about the Uterfract? You... You have slain the Uterfract! By the gods, what an amazing feat! <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, maybe it's just these standard ones, right? Okay. So now we've got access to the snow bear and snow wolf armor. Oh, ah, cool. As part of being chieftain. Okay. And the wolf is light, the bear is medium, and Stalrim is heavy, I think? I think? I can't remember. All right. Well, holy wackadoo. You know what? This seems like a great place to call it. And continue with our reading, right? We have to read about Sovngarde. Huh. Very wild that we're going to get a take here regarding that. And you know what? Maybe we should hit up this quest next as well to find Sovngarde. Whatever that entails. How interesting. Yeah, here we go. Sovngarde, a re-examination. Okay. Ooh. Journal has been updated. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink here. Sorry about this. All right. Sovngarde, a re-examination by Beredit Jastel. Death. It is something we all face. Or do we? Just ask the nearest Nord what he thinks of the end of life, and you'll likely be treated to a horrific story of blood, bone, and viscera, of courageous deeds and heartbreaking sorrow. Carnage notwithstanding, there may be even more to death than the average Nord warrior realizes. New evidence suggests a life beyond the battlefield, where valiant Nord may live forever, Downing mead and engaging in contests of strength and skill. What evidence? How did you find evidence of this? But in order to fully understand the possibility of a Nord's eternal life after death, one must first re-examine the legends surrounding that most wondrous of warriors' retreats, Sovngarde. According to the ancient writings and oral traditions of the Nords, going back as far as the late Merithic era, there exists a place so magnificent, so honored, that the entrance lies hidden from view. Sovngarde. It is called, built by the god Shore to honor those Nords who've proven their mettle in war. Within this hall of valor, time as we know it has no meaning. The concepts of life and death are left on the doorstep, and those within exist in a sort of self-contained euphoria, free of pain, suffering, and the worst malady a Nord could suffer, boredom. But just how well hidden the entrance to Sovngarde is has been made a matter of much scholarly debate. If anything, right now, they're talking as though Sovngarde is a place that exists in this plane of existence, right? And isn't, like, an aspect or a realm of Aetherius or whatever, right? It, it's more... It's It sounds... Like, a lot of it seems is still very much, like, you know, Valhalla-esque. But the fact that it, it almost sounds like it somehow exists in the physical plane as well, or in this plane of existence, it, it almost reminds me of, like, I don't know, uh... What do you call it? Uh the lost city of Shambhala or whatever, right? Okay. But just how well hidden the entrance to Sovngarde is has been a matter of much scholarly debate. And there are those who believe Shore's Great Hall is just a myth, for there are no actual accounts from Nords who have experienced the wonders of Sovngarde then return to tell the tale. Not that this has stopped anyone from looking. Some Nords spend a lifetime searching for the mysterious, hidden entrance to Sovngarde. Most return home sad and broken, their hearts heavy with failure. It's so wild, so like public perception at the time. 
is that you go looking for Sovngarde. What changes between now and Skyrim? Because people in, in Skyrim land will be like, like they have the perfect understanding of exactly what Sovngarde is, right? They'll be like, Sovngarde awaits and shit like that, right? They know it's like their form of a like positive afterlife, right? Huh. Maybe what happens is a retcon. Maybe that's what happens. They'll never know the pleasure of a mead flagon that never empties, a wrestling tournament without end. What, some may ask, does the entrance to Sovngarde have to do with death? Everything. According to a series of ancient parchments recently discovered in the attic of a deceased Nord's home in Cyrodiil. Oh shit. Do you... You don't go there, do you? In, in Oblivion, huh? I don't remember anything like that. Huh. It would be in Bruma, though, wouldn't it? Well, I guess not necessarily. Likely, but not necessarily. What at first seemed to be a series of love letters was later found to be correspondence between one Felga Forefingers, a medium of some note, and the ghost of a Nord warrior named Rolf the Large. According to the parchments, Rolf had spent his entire life searching for the entrance to Sovngarde without success. Do any of these, pe these people end up there? Hmm. He was returning home to his village of Skyrim. To his village of Sky- his, What? His village of Skyrim. You know, Skyrim, the village. Just the little village, Skyrim. <laughs> or is it, no it, it must mean like his village in the land of Skyrim right is what it means surely surely <sighs> when he was waylaid by a band of giants Rolf fought bravely and was quickly killed and the giants proceeded to play catch with his head with his head amazingly all of this was seen by Rolf in ghostly form as he drifted away from the scene, soaring upwards into the heavens, where he finally arrived in the magnificent hall of Sovngarde. Huh, his head. Interesting, is that, that, that sh that's not tied to like the Dulahan or whatever in, in Skyrim, the like random Dulahan event, or random encounter, I should say. Maybe? Huh. Rolf could not believe his good fortune and his foolishness for not having realized the truth so many years ago. For death was the entrance to Sovngarde, so he was told by Shore himself, who greeted Rolf the Large as a brother and personally handed him a leg of roast mutton and the hand of a comely wench. Sovngarde, Shore told him, can be entered by any Nord who dies valiantly in honorable combat. It is time for Nords to learn the truth. Eternal life can be theirs, without the need to spend an entire mortal life in vain pursuit of something completely unattainable. In the end, all Valiant Nords can enter Sovngarde. Dismemberment, decapitation, or evisceration seems a small price to pay for the chance to spend an eternity in Shore's wondrous hall. Wow! So I guess word people really didn't know. Was it this dude who, like, spread the word? Berity Jostel? Did this guy, like, completely, like, give them a massive cultural re revelation? Huh. Because this guy's writing, like, yeah, we've just recently found out. Right? What the fuck? Oh my god. Usually these important shit like this isn't in the games, right? It's, it's talked about as happening in between. Right? I don't know. This could be it. Right here. Huh. Alright. Wow. Fascinating. Yeah, definitely need to look up, like, Rolf the Large. Huh. And who was, who was the medium again? Let's see. Yeah, let me just do a quick double check here. It didn't say that the medium was also necessarily a Nord either, right? Hmm. Felga Forefingers. Sounds like it could be a Nord, right? Sounds like a Nord-esh 
Hall-esque name, but don't know for sure. Huh. Fascinating. All right, well, when next we come back, we're going to tell what's his butt about Sovngarde, huh? Until next time, please take care of each other. Bye.